Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to another video uh, of the Duna Colony um, blah, 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 lander thing. The colony ship did a little bit, a little bit of work on it. Uh, the the thing about the colony ship is that I wanted to originally use the cone, the cone shaped landers. And unfortunately, that doesn't look like that's going to be a thing because the cone-shaped landers, they're a little too big, they're a little too heavy, and to be honest, they, they look way more advanced for something that's supposed to be cheap and on a budget and real quick, like built fairly quickly. So the colony ship is going to get a new factory lander that's going to uh, contain the same cylindrical design but instead of landing upright like the uh, like the passenger landers do this design is actually going to land on its side so that's actually th th it works all together um, I'm gonna actually start taking um, well I didn't uh, I t took away some of the satellites and integrated their systems into the colony ship itself so I'm thinking that that will like make it cheaper easier to build quicker to build because like uh, like i said before the idea is that carbon is about to get destroyed and so they build a ton of these uh colony ships and launch them and the, the because of the chaos there's plenty of them that try to make it to jewel there's some that try to make it to you know drez or duna and things of this nature and someone in the comments actually came up with the idea of taking craft designs from um, individuals, from other people, and they would be like, when I start venturing out and stuff in, in this uh, Let's Play, I run into these uh, quote-unquote, air quote, colony ships that didn't make it, right? So you've got some that are orbiting planets where everyone died because they ran out of food or air or something went wrong because it was so cheaply made that something broke and everybody uh, didn't you know died on on the on the trip or maybe they actually started a colony but something went wrong and something broke or you know whatever the case or they got sick or something of that nature happened and so you have a lot of these uh, derelict spacecraft or relics out there from failed colony attempts and you might run into some that you know that uh, all they need is a little help but they're just maintaining and stuff like that so they they get absorbed into this uh, expansion of colonizing the solar system like I said it's not gonna be a story it's gonna be a complete let's play but it's still fun to hypothesize and think about it and stuff kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons game I might even throw some dice in there just to you know see what our options are or whatever the case may be but yeah so it's coming together real good um, as you can see right in front of you now the design of the colony ship is altered a little bit it's uh, one side is sort of like scientific equipment uh, for like mining and whatnot because the ship is going to go into a pol polar orbit so having all the Mining, mining satellites and stuff of this nature, and in the on the uh, on the colony ship, would be a good idea. It would save a lot of parts because I don't have to worry about launching a butt ton of satellites, right? So that that would save a lot of time and a lot of energy and effort. And um, in, in the end, it it looked cool because you have the like the first uh, the the front of the colony ship would be the um the would be the satellites there's two satellites communication so i can make a triangular pattern so you can have constant communication around the planet and then you have two rovers and the rovers would find spots suitable for landing and then that part of the ship would jettison and then you've got the factory um the factory lander that would jettison and land on our landing spot and then behind that you have the two civilian uh, transport landers and then they would come right behind and land next to the factory lander which has openings on either side of it 
so that one side would be like the mining aspect of things and the other side would be growing food and stuff uh, for that little uh, camp as it were the colony camp before they actually start building the colony so that would be really neat and uh, I would love to see that once they get everything all working and everything so yeah um, somebody mentioned I don't think it was somebody I think it was that the actual um, dev that made simple construction which is what this whole playthrough is going to be running off of simple construction mod uh, he I forgot what it was called it, it was something that's like more Kerbals or something like that and he suggested I could use that to simulate what's going on here oh. he suggested I could use that to simulate uh, like colony growth like um, you know babies being born and families and all the circus stuff so I'm gonna definitely take a look at that because that would be a hell of a lot better than what I had originally planned and that was to spawn Kerbals in using the like vessel uh, uh, it's not I think it's part of the vessel mover yeah it's vessel mover and you can not only move vessels but you can also spawn them in and I was gonna spawn like a big giant thing of 25 Kerbals or whatever and just use that so if this mod works then that would be great because then it'd probably make things a lot easier for me now if you've noticed if you haven't noticed already a lot of the parts don't look like stock and that's because I'm using a uh, restock mod and I'm loving it to be honest I, I I really really like it and I'm I think I've said this before I'm beating myself up for not using this earlier because it it actually adds a lot of interesting skins to the vanilla stock parts and it's really nice very very nice uh, whoever did that uh, my hats off to them that it's it's a, it's a brilliant mod and me personally, I would suggest uh, anybody playing KSP, especially on the PC, to download that mod first thing. <laughs> you can do a lot more with it and still not worry about it not being, you know, a lot of people when they download mods, they're worried, oh, well, I'm going to mess up this, I'm going to mess up that. And it doesn't add any new parts. It just, it just changes the skin. So you're fine, you know? If you were to take that craft, and um, I haven't done this, I haven't done this actually, so don't take my word for it. But I would imagine that if you take that craft and go into a brand new, 100% uh, vanilla stock game, um, that it would still be able to load it up. It would just have the original uh, vanilla stock skins on it, which is kind of nice because there's a lot of mods out there that actually give you new parts and stuff. So when you try to, if ever you try to load it up where you give it to somebody to load it up in their game they need that specific mod because if they don't they can't load up the craft file which is you know a real pain in the ass sometimes now someone did ask me that um, how, how do I get the civil constructions mod to work for version 1.12.2 and to be honest I really don't know how I got it to work uh, there's uh, a couple of videos back, uh, live streams where we were trying desperately to make the, the the mod work, and what I did was I just started a brand new game, and just transferred all my old crafts over to that game. I say game, it's not like the game. I actually took the uh, the KSP folder for, that has the game in it, and. Um, uh, loaded it back onto the computer so it was a completely new install and that's how we were able to get it working again now I don't know what happened or what you know what was going on or anything of that nature I just know that 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 way uh, that worked doing it that way worked so I'm glad it did and I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that that doesn't uh, doesn't not work again and then I have to go ahead and do that same because it I had to, to reload the game or reload the entire game uh, um, was about two or three times before I finally got to work or for finally got to load correctly or whatever the case may be I don't know what was going on but 
I'm glad that's over with. Now, towards the end of the video, I try to make that one launch rocket design. Um, something went wrong. <laughs> Not quite sure, but something something didn't like something didn't agree with itself, and uh, uh, we ended up having um, a rapid, rapidly uh, scheduled unscheduled disassembly of the entire rocket. So. There's that problem that I have to work out now and figure out what the hell is going on and why it's doing that. But we are really close to completion on this. It's going to be fun. And uh, I, I can't wait. And yeah. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I'm looking at doing the whole membership thing here pretty soon for YouTube. And uh, hopefully I will have earned your membership or member I don't even know how it works to be honest I guess they become I guess you guys become members or something yeah, you set, up perks or set up perks and stuff okie dokie that's that's just okay here we go so anyway all right love you all take care and I will see you in the next video bye for now bye bye